can Hashimoto's be reversed? Well, the answer is no. Now, can the symptoms of Hashimoto's be reversed? The answer is resoundingly yes. Now, here's what I mean. It's really not bad news that you can't reverse Hashimoto's because Hashimoto's really is a genetic condition. Here's what I mean by that. Now, Hashimoto's usually occurs in women at about three different times of their life. You know, puberty, uh, pregnancy, and perimenopause. And what happens during those particular times is there are certain factors that come into play, and I don't want to go over all of them today, but it turns genes on that you are carrying that makes your immune system target your thyroid gland and chew it up. Now, you really can't turn off those genes, no matter what anybody tells you. So you can't cure Hashimoto's. I don't care what you look at. And there's a lot of doctors running around, some not-so-alternative doctors, I might add, that are kind of practicing folklore. And what they've done is they've said, hey, look, this person's TSH level is normal. We've cured their Hashimoto's. We've reversed it. And the answer is no, you have not done that. You can look at a woman's uh, TSH level, a Hashimoto's patient, look at her TSH level over nine months of doing nothing, and her TSH level will go hypothyroid, normal, hyperthyroid, normal, hyperthyroid, hypothyroid, without doing anything. So the people that are telling you that they can you know, reverse Hashimoto's by looking at her TSH levels, they're full of, they're full of it. <laughs> the other thing people will look at, other doctors will look at it, they'll say, hey, their, th their antibodies are, you know, within normal range now. We've cured their Hashimoto's. The answer again is no. Antibodies fluctuate like the wind, which is why we're lucky when we can test someone and see their Hashimoto's by having positive antibodies. In fact, about 15% of women are seronegative, uh, sero which means they don't make antibodies, even though they really do have Hashimoto's. They've got all the symptoms. So looking at antibodies is really a waste of time. The only thing you can really look at in a woman is look at reversing the symptoms, meaning the fatigue, the brittle hair, the hair falling out, uh, constipation, the cognitive problems. You can reverse those symptoms, and that's done without question. But don't let anyone be, uh, tell you that they can you know, cure the disease because they're not doing that. I don't care if you take iodine or don't take iodine. It doesn't matter what you're doing. But you can reverse those symptoms. And how do you do that? Well, the first thing that a doctor has to do is understand that Hashimoto's is an autoimmune condition. You have to look at it from an immune system perspective. And that means you got to look at T cells and B cells. You got to look at regulatory T cells. You have to understand how vitamin D and food sensitivities and occult infections and how all that stuff and toxicity, how all of that comes into play with the woman who's suffering those low thyroid symptoms. Okay? If your doctor isn't schooled in that and doesn't understand how to do that, then they're not going to be able to offer you much help in reversing those symptoms. So what I want you to know is I'm trying to give you a message of hope. If you've been diagnosed with Hashimoto's, yeah, you, you can be better. You can feel better. And I don't want you to get stuck on the idea of that, you know, I, I need to cure myself with Hashimoto's because, frankly, that's not going to happen. But what if you could feel 80% better, 90% better, and we hadn't cured your Hashimoto's? Would that be worth it? Of course it would. So you can't reverse Hashimoto's, but you can absolutely reverse Hashimoto's symptoms if your doctor does the right things.